Welcome to the HDL Editor presentation. Let's add the HDL file to our design using wizard. We are naming file test, adding ports, alpha, beta, both inputs, and zeta, which is output. As you see, wizard creates an outline of the HDL file. We can add signal declaration by typing SI and selecting signal. That's autocomplete feature. It also works for data types. So if we type ST, STD logic can be quickly selected. Let's remove unnecessary comments and let's create label process statement. This time we can use template, that's the autocomplete with light bulb symbol. We select process template and just follow prompts. In this case we specify signals for the sensitivity list. Now we can indent begin end block of the process and we can start typing signal assignment inside alt slash combination cycles through previously declared identifiers so we can use this feature it can be used exchangeably with regular autocomplete sometimes you have to hit that combination more than one time to get desired identifier. OK, we are done with the process. If we need more contents, we can use Language Assistant. And in our case, we expand Synthesis Templates, the flip flop with Asynchronous Reset. We drop name directly in our VHDL source. Of course, we now need new ports, so we can use Alt mouse selection to select column, copy it, make some space in port section, and paste our copied column. We've got one missing semicolon. That should do it. We are planning to use this VHDL file inside the Verilog, so the use of small letter, lowercase letters, is a good idea, so we can mark block and use two lowercase function. And of course, we can repeat the same operation for the entire process. Some beautification, indentation, labeling of the process would be good idea. Of course we can remove unwanted comments. Before we compile, let's create intentional error in the code just by adding letter. Now we can open console just to see compilation results and compile. We've got error messages visible in the console and red are the lines in the code. If we move mouse over under light line, we can see pop-up error messages. So we can address issue, compile again, find the other error, again address it by removing a letter compiling again, this time without any errors, which means that our VHDL file is ready. For future references, we can generate structure to simplify navigation of this file. After that operation, we can expand or collapse groups. We can also go to local menu and expand or collapse all groups. Okay, we are done with VHDL. Let's switch to 
top Verilog file which is very badly formatted as we see fortunately we've got auto format button which immediately helps we can go to compiled VHDL entity and architecture uh, copy Verilog instantiation and paste it in our Verilog code adjust the label and of course if we want to generate structure in Verilog code it will also work and when we compile we have no errors so we can use previously created script to quickly start simulation which shows pretty reasonable results. Thank you for watching our presentation.